So in one of my first eBay videos, I was just kind of walking around, just kind of randomly making a video. And I mentioned like breaking apart games. And then I kind of went over Scrabble. And now I'm going to go over just a little bit more. Uh, just buying games at Salvation Army, uh, garage sales, thrift stores for like a dollar, two dollars a piece. No one's buying a complete game of like Monopoly or Scrabble or Sorry or Mousetrap on eBay because they can just go to the store and buy that. And so you're you're losing money when you sell it on eBay because it costs so much to ship. But you can break apart all those games and sell all the pieces because people are missing pieces or they got an art project or something they're doing. I don't know why they buy them, they just do. So right here's some of the stuff that I have right now. I have individual Fireball Island cards, which I sell for $3 a piece. And I got about a hundred of them. So turn a little bit of money into like $300. Individual Fireball Island guys that I, I actually made these guys. They sell for 14 a piece. A Fireball Island token, 14 a piece. This right here is Monopoly dice from Lord of the Rings. It's got that special eye of Sauron. People are buying it. Seen it pieces. These are just generic, I believe. Um, but people buy them. Some special Simpsons dice. I don't remember where I got that. A whole bunch of scenic pieces. Just start gathering them up and, and then list them. Uh, these are only two of the mousetrap pieces I decided to pull out, but I got lots of mousetrap pieces and they go for three to 10 bucks a piece. You know, they ship for next to nothing. Risk, this is a very, very old risk. People will buy individual pieces or sets of pieces or individual cards that they're missing or any sort of risk game you can have uh, lots of pieces and uh, sell it for quite a bit. Get out of jail free cards from Monopoly. I just collect them and, and go to jail until I get a lot and then sell them. Cash from Monopoly. Teachers buy that for students. Individual DVDs from Seen It. Someone's seen it and scratched, they gotta replace it. Pawns from Sorry and other type games. And these are little stands for, for like a cardboard cutout. And then uh, I got some more Seen It pieces in here. This is Lord of the Rings Monopoly pieces. No one's really buying that yet. Um, dice from the games I just save up. Like these red dice I can sell for 10 bucks a piece to go with Fireball Island. And then just saving a whole bunch of uh, Monopoly houses up. And then the individual Seen It cards and uh, risk instructions and bulk Monopoly cards. The options are limitless. Take any game, break it apart. It's insane. And then right here I have bulk kids games. I'm going to sell that online. Some preschool person's going to maybe buy that. It's got bingo, some kids, just a bunch of kids things that came from Sesame Street games and plastic toys, a lot of spinners. And this is just like bulk games, like adult games tokens and cards that you know no one cares about to buy individually but maybe someone will buy them for arts and crafts and then game boards just tons and tons of game boards monopoly tarzan probably got about 50 game boards right there i just save them up and sell them in a bulk whatever someone's willing to pay now you're not making crazy money selling individual game pieces, but it adds up over time, it adds up to a lot. But you'll be surprised. Some game pieces sell for a lot. Like specialty Monopoly tokens, sometimes they sell more than you could sell a whole game for on eBay. Okay, so some real world eBay examples. Mousetrap. Someone's selling a whole bunch of mousetrap pieces for $25. Probably bought the game at a garage sale for a dollar. Someone's selling the trap piece for $12.99. Not selling, they sold it. These are all sold listings. Someone sold the bathtub fixture piece for $9.99. It's 
probably more than they paid for the whole game. Thing. The ladder step piece, $8.99. So you just get a game from Salvation Army or an old game that you got and just break it apart and sell it. Like these figures from a 2005 version, they're mouse figures, they sell all the time. Like this trap contraption for $6.99 plus shipping. Like you're not making a lot, but you've got a lot of pieces to, to split apart and make money on. Seen it. Just like if you can find seen it for really cheap. And then just save all the DVDs and sell them individually. Like two of the original Scenics for $14.99. It's probably cost only two bucks to ship. Um, and then not only just the Scenic DVDs, you can sell all the Scenic pieces as well and make money on those. Like here, go to completed items like Star Trek Scenic things. Harry Potter, oh my god, two of the Harry Potter first and second edition for 25 bucks. Harry Potter, just four of the figures for $10.99, and these cost nothing to ship. So it looks like Harry Potter is doing good. I've sold Simpsons ones and the Seinfeld ones. Alright, now Monopoly. Monopoly, you can find everywhere for really cheap. $1.99 at a thrift store. You can sell the houses, you can sell the figures like $26 for a whole bunch of figures it's crazy this guy's selling 70 that he's just saved up over time now this one's crazy people collect the get out of jail cards so you're just getting a whole bunch of monopoly games you're saving up figures you're saving up cards you're saving up cash like $7.99 for three cards that you can just mail with a 49 cent envelope. Switch it to highest. So if you come across an old set that's not complete, you can sell just one card for 24 bucks. Right here, a whole bunch of them for $14.99. And again, just put it in a regular envelope with a stamp. Costs nothing to sell. Uh, this one's big. Risk pieces, especially older ones. Like I sold incomplete old sets because they're hard to find. But right here, someone's selling the 40th anniversary. They sold it for $44. And it's like, you're not even paying that much for it on eBay. You could just buy the game on eBay for 15 bucks and just break it apart and sell it. This I have listed on eBay right now. This one's not mine. But these dice. You know, someone's gonna buy them eventually. And I just took them off of Lord of the Rings Monopoly. So the cash, teachers and preschool teachers and people like that, they buy the cash all the time so they can like, you know, the kids can play it. A whole bunch of money for $60 it was just sold. You know, you're saving up the Monopoly games, you're selling the get out of jail cards, you're selling the pieces, you're selling the dice if they got special dice, you're selling the houses. And you're also going to be selling the money, so you just keep buying Monopoly games and collecting everything until you get enough to sell. Look, 700 pieces for $20. Things from like Sorry Games and other plastic pieces, you can just save all those up and list them all together and make more money than you would selling all the games. No one wants to buy the game, but you know, you could sell one green piece for $2.95 plus shipping and all these little transactions just keep adding up.